Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2016 Mazda CX-5 GS. Now the most suitable features on this GS is its power moonroof. You also have your heated front seats and your navigation system. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2016 Mazda CX-5 GS. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this GS is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a look just over on the side, you're going to see your 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels. And now you also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is white. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black cloth interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat. And if we take a look just over on your left hand side, you're going to see your blind spot monitoring on and off. And then taking a look on the inside of the mirror there, you'll find the blind spot monitoring indicator just located at the very top here. So when uh, you're driving by and the vehicle comes up right beside you, the indicator light will actually light up just letting you know that there is a vehicle right beside you. Now you have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, window controls both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your seek function, volume control, info, voice recognition, Bluetooth, and then you have your cruise control settings over on your right hand side. So as you can see, they're just light, lit up in the mirrors there, so when the vehicle starts up you can actually see the indicators. Now taking a look at the multi-informational display, you're going to see an exterior temperature gauge as well as your exact, uh, sorry, your exact odometer reading. And then taking a look now at your center dash as well as your uh, display here, you're going to see a couple of different options on here which include your navigation, you have a digital clock and then to actually control the screen there you can actually just use the uh, switches that are just located down below here or I should say the dial so if you want to go to the home screen just hit the home button and then that way you can see all the different settings applications entertainment communication navigation and then you have your settings menu as well so taking a look inside there you can adjust such things as your uh, display safety sound clock and a couple of other additional features now located down below you also have your hazard lights, temperature control settings with your temperature control, fan speed and your mode select and above that you'll find your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger with three different settings depending on how hot you would like it. Now on the inside there you'll find your USB matted to a automatic transmission and then down below here like I said you'll find your volume control as well as your toggle switch for your home screen for your display. And then at the very top here, you'll find your open and close for your power moonroof. And then you'll also find the sunglass case holder as well. Now just to give you a quick, uh, quick idea, sorry, of what your backup camera is going to look like, I'm just going to put it into reverse there for you. So as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines there as well, making things much easier for yourself when you're trying to back into a stall. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now, located on the back of your tailgate, you'll find your back camera just on your left-hand side and your rear hatch release located underneath your Mazda emblem. Now, I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now, one of the nice things that comes with this uh, GS is it does have the cargo liner in the back here. So the nice thing with it, if you spill any liquids back here, it's much easier to clean up afterwards and you can actually have it removed and cleaned up properly excuse me some storage space over on your right hand side and taking a look underneath the floor you'll find your spare tire as well as your jack in your toolkit so if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch you know exactly where it's located you also have that foldable rear seat as well so if you do need some uh, space right away you can actually fold the seats down just by pulling on one of the two tabs that you see on either side of the vehicle here Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2016 Mazda CX-5 GS, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. 
Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.